Hey everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Blood. My name is Dave. Thank you for joining me here today. It's good to see you guys again. Um, it is now 2017. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great holiday. I know I did. Uh, sorry I haven't seen you guys in two weeks. I've been sick, if you can't tell. I've, I've just now uh, started getting over a little bit of the cold that's been going around basically the entire state of Michigan. So thank you guys. Um, as far as what I did, uh, I had a, a trip to Texas uh, during Christmas, for Christmas Eve. I came back to Michigan for Christmas, uh, worked a little bit, and then I've been off since Thursday, so I've been, enjoy been enjoying my time off from work. I hope if you guys got time off from work as well that you enjoyed it too. Um, I came back today and I just wanted to kind of show you guys a couple things. Uh, the first one was I got a new watch. I got a, a, an original grain watch, which are the, um, for this one at least, the uh, wood that's been made and reclaimed from whiskey barrels. I'm going to do a review on this as soon as I can figure out how to set it up right with my camera so that it comes out well. Um, and that I can uh, actually review the watch for you. So I figured I'd wear it for you today, if you can see it at all. And then in the future, and yes, I know, I, I literally have the hairiest arms of anyone you've ever seen. I'm Polish, this is what you get. Um, so I'll uh, review this for you in the future once I get all that figured out and a good way to shoot that video. It's new for me trying to do something like that, so it's gonna take a little time. But um, today I figured out, or I figured I would review for you something that a lot of you have probably just purchased or are thinking about purchasing for the season, which is the new Masters Collection for Wood Woodford. So every year Woodford has a release, a Masters Collection release, and they're kind of experimental uh, projects for the distillery. And last year it was a white corn. Uh, the year before that, I'm trying to remember what that was. Um, I don't remember now. But every year it's something different. There was a year where they experimented with... Um, with, with a single malt and a classic malt, there was a year where they used four, uh, four malts or four grains, if I remember correctly. There was a year where they, uh, I can't remember the, all the other ones. There's, there's been a couple. Um, there's been, I think, five or six years of this now, before I even started really jumping into whiskey. So I'm going to do this year's release, and this is, I think, the most promising one yet. So. Let's see, I, I literally haven't even opened the bottle. I got this while I was out of town. And it's not super hard to find around here, and I think you guys should be able to maybe find this too, so I think this will be a good video for that reason. But let's jump right into it. So here's the bottle. Uh, hopefully this comes out okay, but there's the bottle itself. I love the bottle. This is one of my favorite bottles. Uh, every year they have the same style bottle, and this is one of my favorite bottles. It is the Woodford Reserve Brandy cask finish, so Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in brandy barrels. Uh, this is, uh, as always, it's selected by Chris Morris. It's 45.2% alcohol by volume or 90.4 proof. Um, and let me read you a little bit about the card that they give you. They give you a card with this one. So the card, oh, it's a lot. Let me skip over. I'm just going to go to the, the notes. The tasting notes. Uh, color, warm red, aroma, a medley of chocolate, maple syrup, and caramel drizzled over toasted hazelnuts, dark raisins, and dried cranberries. Soft notes of oak and spice linger in the depths. That sounds good. <laughs> the taste, toffee covered dried fruit and toasted hazelnuts, warmed by delicate wood spice notes. That sounds good. And the finish, long and warm with a touch of caramel lingering on. So why am I excited about this one? Because it's the first year where they haven't done anything real crazy. Oh. There was a year where they did like Pinot Noir barrels. There was a year, uh, like I mentioned last year, where they did this white corn thing and then they experimented with the malts. This is their bourbon finished in sherry, or in, um, I'm sorry, in brandy. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, different whiskeys that experiment with, you know, different finishes. And so I think that Woodford with a different finish might actually be pretty good. So let's give it a go here on this one. Let's put this little book down there. There you go. There's a little book for you. Um, let's open it. Let's open it. So it's got, if I remember correctly, pull tab somewhere. No, they're glued on this. Okay. So we'll just go from the top. This is why I usually open the bottles before I start the videos. Because this, this is painful for someone that has no nails. There we go. Get that out of there. Crack the bottle here. All right. The 
brandy cask finish. Woodford Reserve. 2016. It's over, guys. It's done. 2016 is gone. <laughs> Maybe that's good for you guys. It's bad for me, good for others. Lighter as I pour it than I would have expected. Alright, so there is the Woodford Reserve Brandy Cask Finish Masters Collection. Here is the color. A little bit this way, a little bit. There you go. It's an amber color, lighter amber. It's got some gold notes to it. I'm supposed to be smelling again. I do smell a lot of fruit. I'm supposed to be smelling maple syrup, caramel, hazelnuts, raisins, and cranberries. I do get a lot of the fruit. I get a little bit of the maple syrup, a little vanilla smell to it, but a lot of fruit and some, and some of that cranberry. There's definitely some cranberry there. And maybe just a little bit of that caramel, ma caramelly maple smell. I don't, I don't get a lot of the. Um, oh, what was the, what were they saying? I should get in here. The raisins, the hazelnuts. I don't get as much of that. Maybe just a little bit. As for the taste, Spicier, wow, very spicy compared to what I thought it would be. Okay, so right in the beginning, I do taste a lot of the maple, a lot of the vanilla, a lot of the caramel. That's very apparent, very apparent. Um, in the middle, this really heavy spice sets in, um, as in, uh, I'm not saying spice correctly, the, the oak sets in, that, the toasted oak really sets in. It does have some spice to it, a little bit of cinnamon bite, um, followed by, I taste a little bit of banana, a little bit of pear, the, the dried cranberries they were describing that I, that I smelled on the nose, those came through. Um, but then, like I said, some of those lighter notes, that banana, the pear, those are, those are lighter notes for me. And then the finish is actually really nice. You do get a touch of like that, that darker caramel, that maple syrupy kind of taste. And um, the spice kind of blends together, that, that oak kind of blends together with the whole thing. I do really like this. And I, I usually don't love these, these master's collections. I think they're a little bit overpriced, but... This is great. I mean, it's it's well balanced and bodied. That brandy caps finish. I mean, it it it's just it's adding this this body to Woodford that's not normally there, at least for me. It's got um, it's got a lot more of the sweeter side, whereas for me, Woodford is sort of a it's not dark. It's just sort of a a very corny tasting, <laughs> a very corn tasting whiskey for me. So this has a lot of those extra sweeter things that I, that I like, that that mapley, caramelly vanilla that I mentioned on the nose and on the palate. I all I really like all those. And you know, um, the whole thing I think, it price a little high, but the whole thing I think is is one of the, if not for me out of the four, five, five, no, four different, four different that I've tried. I think it's my favorite one so far. I, I, I really do like it. Um, it. It's mainly because it's more simple now than all the other ones were, like the white corn. It was, it was interesting, the white corn one from last year, and it was something different to try, but I like this because it's more bourbon, more simple. So these are things that, that would normally go 
um, together. And, and that has been done with other whiskeys before too. It's just they're experimental with brandy casks and it worked out great. Um, I would like to see the price point uh, on all these master's collections come down to about 80, 70 to 80, I think would be a fair price for it. But you know, I get it. If they want to do a little bit more every year, then sure. Uh, as for the overall rating on this one, I would buy it again. Uh, I may actually buy another one if I see it around. I, I think it's I think it's a pretty good bottle. I, I like it overall. Like I said, just the only thing is price maybe a little bit. So I'm gonna say, um, let me go with 90 out of 100. And so why do I select 90 out of 100? Price a little too high, bottle's great, liquid inside is great, good nose, good balance, good body. Um, why do I not put it higher? A little bit too much on the light side for the for the fruit notes that were coming through a little bit too much for that um, but we are drinking a brandy cast finish so um, but other than that it just it really rounds out Woodford and if you put Woodford in the you know low 80s mid 80s range which is where a lot of people do which is where I do then this is definitely an improvement on Woodward on Woodford for sure it's definitely improvement on Woodford for sure so um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to hopefully be back here uh, by the end of the week. We'll see what happens with the week uh, and how crazy work is coming back. Hope that you guys also, once again, uh, have a successful and prosperous 2017. I'm really looking forward to the channel and to everything that you guys bring to the channel. We have a great community here. I've literally only had maybe one negative comment ever. I really love that you guys uh, are treating me with such respect uh, for someone that just is sitting here amateurly talking about whiskey. So thanks again for that. Happy 2017. I'll see you guys later.